The views and opinions expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of the staff and management of KLAY or those who advertise their products or services on this station. We're back. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, guys and dolls, guys, guys, cats and chicks. Sorry about this gravelly voice, but I have finally found out what the cause is. And We're going to take care of it. Yeah. little operation. Little I'm going under the knife, sister. Oh. The gangster's going under the knife. Yeah. Yeah. Your vocal cords have been attacked. Yes. Bye. What do they call that? Nodule. A nodule. Nodule on the vocal cord. Only it's like the biggest one he's ever seen in his whole life. That's what he said. Oh, my God. Yeah, and, and plus the voice has been getting progressively worse, especially these last four or five weeks. Yeah. So, really trippy, man. Well, hopefully when he gets done and you get to start talking after a week of silence that you won't be like, have like some weird little voice. Like, I hope Hi, guys. Hi, like, Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's, let's hope. Oh, only <laughs> mackerel. So, yeah, I had the same operation uh, in 1996, you know, because I've always used my voice a lot. At one time I was a singer and still am, I hope. When I, <laughs> one day again. So, you know, I, I use the hell out of my vocal cords uh-huh. over the years. In this segment, this is our Weddings with Becca segment. And um, this segment, we're going to talk about photography. We are, yeah. And um, you've been out there with a lot of photographers that have been driving you crazy. I have been. But there's, have. A, there's a gentleman. Uh, am I right? Gentleman's going to call in. Brooke and Bella. Brooke and Bella. That are going to call in that you were impressed with, and uh, and actually uh, was uh, thought that they did it the way they're supposed to. I wasn't just impressed with them; it was the it was the weirdest thing. I walked in the room, and it was just like, and you know, I'm I'm a weird Buddhist, so I believe in all sorts of <laughs> stuff. But it was like long lost friends. Long it was like just like this instant connection, and I was just like, wow! Like I just felt like I've known them forever. And I just had so much fun working with them. They have the same attitude that I do when I go to weddings. I'm not looking at the clock. I'm not thinking about money. I'm not, I'm focusing on giving this event the best possible experience possible. Yeah. You know, that, that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to make it that, that hopefully people only get married once. I know that you don't believe in that, but <laughs> I like to believe when I go to a wedding that this is a one-time thing, and I want to make that as special as possible. And, and it's really cool to be able to work with other vendors who believe that, too. Well, with the reviews that you've been getting online, it, there's no question it's paying off. Mm-hmm. Now our calling guests are on the line. Cool. Yay. Push the button. Hey, you're on Viva ENT. How you doing? How cool. This is Brooke Fritz from Bella Fritz Photography. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure to have you. <laughs> of course, you know my co-host, Becca Page. The one and only. She That's rocks. right. <laughs> yeah, she's a she. She's actually become a superstar, well-known, famous wedding DJ personality for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we had the pleasure of working with and meeting Becca at a wedding we shot last weekend. And I'm absolutely not blowing smoke here. Everybody had a great time. The music sounded amazing. The, the you know the the PA system was awesome. Super clear. The music selection hit every demographic that was there, so it's perfect. You know, young and old, and everything in between. And the lights, of course, were great. Uh, you know, uh, shining on the tent. And you know, with her emceeing, uh, with the mics and everything, it's uh, she knows her stuff. Yeah, I'm proud to say that I trained her. Oh, right. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Brad. Right. Yeah, and I not, just not, not to mention, you know, just so a warm personality. You know, that you don't always get that. Some people claim to be a DJ and so they can mash up some, some music and everything. But sometimes they bring an attitude with them like, you know, they're a diva or something or mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. You know, and, uh, she just she just brings real and that's what we love to work with. Well real thank you. People. You know, I just my belief is and I you know, we're we're coming up to all the wedding expos. Do you guys do the wedding expos? We do. Okay. So we're coming up to doing all of these and I like to in my spare time, sit and think about my sales approaches when I'm talking to brides. And one thing that I've really started to reflect on and figure out the difference that makes 
us vendors different than other vendors is when we go to weddings, we are working on behalf of the bride and groom. It's yeah. not about us. That's right. It's totally about them and representing them. You know, even when I dismiss, if I've got 300 people in the room and I'm about to dismiss them for dinner, I say on behalf of the bride and groom, dinner served. I'm not providing them with dinner. You know, yeah. I, I don't like to say, you know, I'm, I'm pleased to announce dinner's ready. But I, you know, everything's on behalf of the bride and groom. And um, I think we we did a really good job representing them on that day. It was super fun. So Agreed. And that's the right approach, Becca. Um, it, they are, we are working for our clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of people there and so forth. And, and uh, we do the same thing. You know, uh, we meet with our clients way in advance multiple times to get a feel for their personality and to, for them to get to know ours as well mm -hmm. so come wedding day you know that's a big stressful day for them the last thing they need is like oh yeah we don't really know our photographers that will never happen with Bellafish photography mm -hmm. we're about the relationship and as you have experienced it winds up being friendships after the fact there is no greater compliment then a couple, and this is, you know, before the beer and the wine is flowing too heavily, where they say, we want you guys in our lives, you know, after we get back from the honeymoon, let's get together, which we mm -hmm. always do anyway for the slideshow presentation. But yeah, it is a, it's a people business. So if you're not good with people, you got no business being in business. <laughs> I, I absolutely, absolutely agree. And I have created a lot of very good friendships off of off of uh, brides and grooms i've done their wedding and we're, we continue to be friends to this day so yeah that's, that's a real cool. treasure it is i love it so um you know one of the things that i wanted to talk about today on the show is after just finishing i mean september's just as big as busy as august for us but you know august had those five full friday saturday sunday weekends yeah which was super rare and i've pretty much i i can honestly say i think i've probably seen it all <laughs> um, and the one thing I wanted to talk about with photography is, uh, how you plan out the day's events from your end, because, um, I've seen too many times this summer where we, we have the ceremony during cocktail hour. Okay. They're out getting formals, signing their marriage certificate. Wonderful. Totally expected. Yep. But now it's dinner time and the food's ready and the guests are ready. And then all of a sudden the bride and groom are missing and they're having me get on the microphone calling out family members. And now we're going an hour and a half into dinner and there's no food yet because the photographers didn't take any formals beforehand and they're still shooting. And then right after toast, they're gone again for an hour's worth of more photos. And, um, you know, two weddings in August, we literally had the bride and the groom in the room for maybe a half hour for the entire reception. The rest of the time, they were all doing photos. So, yeah. I mean, and it's tragic because I lose all my guests. I can't do any traditional events. I had one photographer right. come up. I announced toasting. Um, you know, it was one toast. The father of the bride was toasting. And he came up and just said, let me get this. Let, let me tell you this straight. He says, you don't announce anything without my approval because I am in charge of their timeline. I will tell you when I'm going to be taking them and you don't do anything without my approval. And I was just like, whoa, dude, you know, we got a wedding coordinator here and myself. We went over the traditional events when yeah. it was happening. So how do you, when you sit down with them, do you look at their timeline and plan out your day and how the shots are going to go? Excellent question. And um, you, uh, we can so relate to your frustration. The first thing we do when we meet with our clients is we go over what they're looking for in photography. Uh, have they seen our website? Do they like our style? Yes, no, whatever. They like, like black and white. And then we, you know, if they, once they hire us, we get together with them and go through a shot list. And we always, always drive home. If you want formal, you know, typically, you know, if they're doing the full package, it's bride prep, room prep, and then the reveal uh, or first look, as some call it, and then family formal. Um, we insist that those get done before the ceremony. Insist. And, and for that very reason. Mm -hmm. Because we had one this summer where family was arriving, scattered, flight driving, all that kind of stuff. And we were not able to do formal until really after the ceremony. 
uh, um, and Bill and I just looked at each other and said, never again. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what you described. It was herding cats. You know, guests are arriving, family that hasn't seen each other forever, disrupting the bride and the groom. Um, you know, it, it was literally a, a managerial nightmare for us just to get the former knocked out. And it did delay the service, and it wasn't our doing. It was, you know, like you mm-hmm. said, we worked with the bride and the groom, and they just said, yeah, we're not going to be able to do the formal until after. We're just like, uh, yeah. okay, yeah. here's what happens after the ceremony, too. What's on everyone's mind? Food and booze. Yep. They don't care about anything. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, But they do want the bride and the groom around. So we avoid that at all costs. Sometimes we can't help it. We let them... We warn them, you know, we say, hey, it's going to, you know, then let's look at your timeline and add some wiggle room Mm -hmm. for people to understand the bride and the groom are going to step away, you know, uh, for a quick photo session or family formal or whatever. And, you know, then they can make their grand entrance. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But it's it's rare and we try to avoid it all. But uh, sometimes it can't be helped. And that's where... You know, a really good DJ like yourself comes in as an MC. Boy, that is so critical because I don't know about you, but there's a lot of couples that don't hire a wedding coordinator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how how many times have you wound up wind up being not just MC but actually helping coordinate? Uh, I'd say eighty percent of the time, uh-huh. and I, I I actually prefer it. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, actually, the wedding DJ is the wedding coordinator uh, uh-huh. when it comes to all the traditional events. Listen, we're going to keep you on. Um, we're gonna, we got to take a short break. We're going to bring you back uh, on the next segment, so just hang tight. Okay. Okay, and, um, yeah. and, and then when we bring you back, we'll tell our listeners how they can get a hold of you, website and all that stuff. So Great. we'll be right back. A word from our sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. You've been listening to Viva ENT. Thank you so much. This is Johnny the Gangster with Viva Productions, King of Entertainment, one-stop shop for all your entertainment needs. We have DJ service for weddings, corporate, and private events. Throw your guests with Vegas Nights Casino Party, Blackjack, Craps, Roulette, Poker, and more. We also have event photography and limousine service. Call Viva Productions, 206-542-5733, or find us at viva-productions.com. A little less conversation, a little more action, you got it. Call Johnny the Gangster, I'll make you a deal you can't refuse. Brides, do you want your big day to be stress-free, perfect, and stay within your budget? Well, Brides Club has all the inside information to make your dream a reality. Go to bridesclub.com. That's bridesclub.com. See upcoming bridal shows and events, view wedding vendors and special offers. And don't miss the Spotlight, the premier online wedding magazine with valuable articles you can't afford to miss. Brides Club helps make your wedding stress-free and perfect. Go to bridesclub.com. Check out bridesclub.com. Attention business owners. Experience a new world of business with Barter. The Saturn Barter Company, located in Tacoma, is one of the most beneficial business decisions you can make. Using Saturn Barter, you are able to sell your products or services to other members of the exchange. You can then use that credit you've built up from your sales to purchase the products or services you or your company needs from other companies within Saturn Barter, all without the use of cash. Contact and join Saturn Barter Club today, 253-212-9930 or online at SaturnBarter.com. Hi, everybody. This is Johnny from Viva Productions. I want to tell you a little bit about Vegas Nights. Forget about Vegas. I brought casino tables to the Emerald City. Craps, blackjack, roulette, poker. If you're planning a private party, corporate party, senior grad party, any kind of party, you want casino tables, you call 206-542-5733. Vegas Nights, that's right. Shake, rattle, and roll. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the air, and we have a Brook. Brook's your name, right, sir? Uh, Brook Fritz from Bella Fritz Photography. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you know, it's amazing how many photographers out there don't get it. I mean, they don't get the formula, you know, 
as far as, um, you know, all the formals, you know, unless it's split formals, all the formals should be done before the ceremony. And if it's split formals, you get the key people after the ceremony, get them, get it done and get them to the reception. Mm-hmm. Especially that's when they're looking fresh. They just got their makeup done and their hair done and they're pretty right. and they're not sweaty yet. And right. usually at that time, you know, the sun's not directly overhead. And so. Um, fresh makeup. Yeah, fresh makeup, man. Everybody's you fresh. Got it. Yeah. You got it. I know. We, we, after that last experience, Bella and I were almost at the point where we won't do a wedding if, you know, it's a, I mean, I, I don't want to turn away business, but we, are so insistent on that that the formals get done prior to. And it depends on where and what time of year and the time of day. Yeah. If it's really small, intimate wedding, different story. But, right. you know, uh, 75, 100 plus and bigger. Yeah, so those people came to see the bride and the groom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're right. They, they, you know, it is, they're there to honor them. And the, if they're off for what seems like a much longer period of time. Now, I, I will say that I've, I've, we've experienced some bride and groom uh, after the ceremony wanting to sneak away and eat in private. Mm-hmm. And that's, uh, you know, I res- totally respect that. And uh, we will sometimes dine with them in their sequestered little secret room. Yeah. Because, you know, we got to keep our fuel going. It's a 12-hour day, as you know. And, mm-hmm. and uh and, and that's, you know, that's understandable. And then they freshen up and then make their entrance and blah, blah. But it, you know, it shouldn't be more than really half an hour. Yeah, you know, I, I suggest that to the majority of the brides and grooms. In fact, I, I suggested that to Daydree, too, uh-huh. is that, you know, and I actually saw it one of the very, very first weddings I ever did in my whole life. Uh, I went with Johnny, and we, it was actually at Tibbetts, same place. Right. And it was a traditional Jewish wedding. Okay. Very traditional. Okay. And they in a traditional Jewish wedding, and I've seen it since then several times, the bride and groom do go into a separate room and they sit for 15, 20 minutes together and just reflect on their marriage right after the ceremony. Cool. And so that, you know, I suggest that to people that, you know, after you get married, go in and sign your marriage certificate and then just take, even if it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, time alone to sit there and reflect on it and, and eat something because once you go back out there, those people are going to be talking to you like crazy. You're not going to get a chance to eat. Then you're drinking. And then by the end of dinner, you start to get weird. You know, I don't know if you just get hangry because you're hungry, uh, <laughs> but it, it seems like brides and grooms tend to get a little weird if they didn't take that time together. They're just like that. Oh, my God, we're married. Oh, my God, I'm hungry. I'm overwhelmed. There's too much going on. I have to pee. I'm in a 40 pound dress. Yeah. You know, I got to go do a first dance right now. And it's just, it just seems at that point it starts to get a little weird. But if, if we do take them away and let them go eat and I, our company's policy is the photographers eat immediately after the bride and groom and bridal party, you get your exactly. food first. It's the yep. only opportunity you have. You don't wait till the bitter end. That's so, right. you know, yeah, that's great. You can go in there and sit with them and, Maybe get some private shots, and then they come out and they're refreshed and they're they're ready to do it. So yeah, you got right it, on. Yep, yeah, that's cool. Absolutely, we are pushing on the same side of the box. In yeah. fact, um, there's nothing more unflattering than taking pictures of people eating. Oh. I don't want my picture taken. I want to. <laughs> I want to chow down, man. You that's know, why I, like... I don't. I don't even like the shots of, you know, the bride and groom going through the buffet, yeah, and, I, and ta- I just call it, you know, they're, they're approaching the trough. It, yeah. I just there's no point in taking pictures of them dishing up at a buffet. I hate those pictures so bad. <laughs> yeah. I try. I always try to get the catering staff to uh, make them a nice plate yeah. and put it on the table on their head table and actually serve them first. Let the bridal party go through. But I like the bride and groom to be personally served. Then the photographer can get a nice picture of them sitting at the table with a nice dinner and a glass of wine. Done. Done. So. Yeah. Yeah. You've got the flow. Yeah. I try. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, um, what you guys and you guys do more than just weddings, though, right? You do fashion, and I was at your website, and yeah, we do uh, weddings, fashion, boudoir. We do uh, corporate events. Nice. Uh, I personally shoot real estate. Uh, I used to build for a living, so I have a natural curiosity for architecture, and uh, you know, the, the the growing market. You get tapped in with. Um, uh, you know, decent agents and so forth. But, uh, yeah, we also, 
uh, Jella likes to put on workshops, and we do those really all over the country. Uh, we've got one in Houston in November, and we've done one on Maui and so forth, and we just, you know, go through and, and talk about, uh, cover a lot of range of, of photography, and, you know, we're a husband-wife team, so we give a, a male and female perspective, which exactly. is sometimes unique and refreshing, because mm-hmm. we are wired differently, and yep. uh, especially in wedding photography, it works out well, because I will go off and shoot the groom and the groomsman, and mm-hmm. I'm just one of the guys yeah. doing their cigars and, the, you know, shots at the dealer or whatever. Or so, sounds like you got guys. it down, my friend. Yeah, it's, and it's fun, you yeah. know, and I get to know them and the best man, and I really uh, kind of, you know, uh, put some emphasis on the role of the best man. It truly is a position of honor and responsibility. Same with the bridesmaid. And the young generation don't really understand kind of what they're supposed to do. And so there we go back into wedding counselor and, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brooke, we're running out of time, Brooke. Okay. Tell our listeners how to get a hold of you, your number, your website. Okay, website, www.bellafritzphotography.com. Phone number. 206-681-7377. It's been an honor and a pleasure, and uh, it's great to, to meet good people that uh, have, you know, professionalism in this, this industry, because there's a lot that don't. So, I agree, you sir. Agree. I'll definitely get you guys on soon. I, there's much more I'd like to explore with you. Pick your brain. Yep. So it thank you. Honor. Thank you. Thank have you a both. safe trip to Portland. Thanks for oh, being okay. on the show. Thanks. Okay, cheers. We Bye. have Brianna on line two here uh, from Embassy Suites Bellevue. Brianna, you're on the air, my dear. Oh, I think... Whoop. We just lost her. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, she'll call back. Maybe she will. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's let's uh, try to call her back. See, so make yeah. sure she does. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad that Brooke called in. Like I said, they're really, yeah. they really know what they're doing. And uh, down to earth, not pompous, not... Uh, yeah, just very much into making them happy. Hey, look, there's line one flashing away. Okay, okay, that's it. Boing. Let's just do it. Live yeah. on the edge. Push the button. Well, I don't want to cut her off again. Let's, let's, let's wait for a sign from the... From the radio gods? Yeah, from the radio gods. Radio gods. Brianna, are you on the line? I am here, Donnie. Thanks for calling <laughs> back. I accidentally hit the wrong button. That's okay. We dumped you. <laughs> <laughs> so How what, are you doing today? We're good. Enjoying the pretty sunshine. And what's yes. new at Embassy Suites in Bellevue? Oh, Embassy Suites, what's new is we are getting excited for a renovation. Oh, ah, uh, wow. Are, yes, we are starting a renovation um, starting in the middle of December. And we'll be finished at the end of March. We will be having a $10 million renovation, so everything is going to be completely remodeled. So we are very excited to see what we can offer. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. So mm-hmm. what are they going to do with the whole atrium? Do you know? Yeah, so we are actually tearing up our atrium, um, making it into one level. Um, what they're going to do is make it more of a modern, kind of sleek, very comfortable area for um, all of our guests, as well as for all the events. So we'll have more space to maneuver, to do a lot more auctions, and um, that those kind of events. Um, as well as we're adding some really nice modern water features um, since the Embassy Suites is known for our water features. Mm-hmm. Doing some really great glass walls with the water running down to get that nice little serene feeling. So right. oh. very excited about that. And then are you are you remodeling the uh, ballrooms as well? We sure are. We are completely renovating those as well. Um, putting in new carpet, um, new wallpaper, and we're actually extending the ceilings as well a couple of feet up. Oh, so nice. We are excited for that. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the sailors did, just did the same thing, too, with our ballroom. They lifted the ceiling up like two uh-huh. feet. What it a makes, difference yeah. that makes. I know. It makes it so much more open. It makes it exciting. So we're oh. very excited for that. Mm-hmm. Are you yeah. gonna? Are they going to put any mirrors in or anything in the ballrooms? Um, no mirrors at this time that we're aware of. Of course, you know, everything can change mm-hmm. from when construction happens. So um, at this time, no mirrors in the ballroom. So um, it will just be as is. But what the colors are adding in is just going to make it really, you know, kind of vibrant and very relaxing and just a nice feel for all of our events. Very nice. Oh, that's so yeah. exciting. And you guys still have the same chef? We have the same chef. He is oh. absolutely amazing. It's uh, Chef Gerald Castro, and he makes, you know, incredible food and 
just loves to invent new items. And so we're constantly, you know, being able to try those items and we're excited for all the menus he's able to create for us. That's so. really, that's fantastic. You know, he, yes. his, I'm not, I'm not even joking. He, he makes some of the best food out there that I've ever had at any event. It's yes. just, I always get so excited to go to your, to your place for weddings because I'm like, man, it's going to be a delicious dinner. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah, we get great feedback from him. So I am excited that he's my chef. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. And you guys are doing um, an open house. Open house is September 28th, 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. to 5 p.m. You guys are going to be at the Comcast Arena on September, um, is that 20th and 21st? Yeah. Yes, 20th and 21st. We will be there. Cool. Yeah, we're excited. <laughs> I'm going to try to get your booth close to our booth. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, we're very excited, and we think we have a lot to showcase, and we're excited to show what our new hotel will look like as well, since we do have some schematics of what we will look like. So. Wow. So, so all our listeners, the open house that Embassy Suites in Bellevue is having is free to attend. There's going to be some complimentary appetizers, some wine. Uh, select vendors will be there, um, not just for prospective brides and grooms, but also uh, corporate clients are welcome to come, Correct. Yes, absolutely. Anybody you guys welcome everyone. Yeah. Everyone. You guys are do such a great, you have such a great facility for corporate events. You're pretty centralized, everything, lots of parking. Again, great food, lots of rooms. So. We got we to gotta go um, to our sponsors real quick. Stay on the line. We're going to bring right. you up on the next segment. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. a quick word from our sponsors. This is Johnny the Gangster with Viva Productions, King of Entertainment, one-stop shop for all your entertainment needs. We have DJ service for weddings, corporate, and private events. Throw your guests with Vegas Nights Casino Party, Blackjack, Craps, Roulette, Poker, and more. We also have event photography and limousine service. Call Viva Productions, 206-542-5733, or find us at viva-productions.com. A little less conversation, a little more action, you got it. Call Johnny the Gangster, I'll make you a deal you can't refuse. Brides, do you want your big day to be stress-free, perfect, and stay within your budget? Well, Brides Club has all the inside information to make your dream a reality. Go to bridesclub.com. That's bridesclub.com. See upcoming bridal shows and events, view wedding vendors and special offers. And don't miss The Spotlight, the premier online wedding magazine with valuable articles you can't afford to miss. Brides Club helps make your wedding stress-free and perfect. Go to bridesclub.com. Check out bridesclub.com. Attention business owners. Experience a new world of business with Barter. The Saturn Barter Company, located in Tacoma, is one of the most beneficial business decisions you can make. Using Saturn Barter, you are able to sell your products or services to other members of the exchange. You can then use that credit you've built up from your sales to purchase the products or services you or your company needs from other companies within Saturn Barter, all without the use of cash. Contact and join Saturn Barter Club today, 253-212-9930 or online at SaturnBarter.com. Hi, everybody. This is Johnny from Viva Productions. I want to tell you a little bit about Elite Limousine. Right now, we have prom specials for 10-passenger stretch limousines, only $90 an hour. That's right, $90 an hour with the four-hour minimum, 206-542-5733. Go to viva-productions.com for pricing. All right, we're back with Viva ENT. We're live on the air with Brianna Warren. And do I pronounce your last name, Seco? <laughs> yes, that's correct. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we're, we're back in the second segment, actually third segment of the show. Uh, uh-huh. So you're going to be at the Comcast Arena. We have an open house. You're all remodeled over there. Or, or you will be, or, or is it close? We'll be, okay. we'll be, Starting we'll in be, December. Yeah, we start December. Oh, December. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I, I got a good memory, but it's short. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yes, yep, we are very excited, and I think we will have a lot to showcase um, at the open house, and we're excited for 
everyone to be here and, you know, serve some really great appetizers to showcase our chefs as well as our beverages yeah. and to show some really great um, wedding tables at what we can offer and how we can make a really great experience over here. So. Very, very cool. Will you have yes. um, the plans out for the remodel? Like the um, yes, they will. They will cool. also have all the plans. We'll have a TV out with um, the schematics kind of flowing through and showing what our hotel will look like. Well, very nice. So. Well, we will push it a lot. Try, you know, Excellent. get as many people there. You guys, you can go to bridesclub.com, click on the upcoming expos, and it's, it'll be right there. It'll have the date and everything. So you can just click to RSVP. It's free. Bring as many people as possible. Come and check it out. Yeah. Also, uh, Wonderful. we're going to be at the Tacoma Wedding Expo this coming weekend. And um, we're going to start handing out the invitations there. So and uh, so we should have a we should have a nice turnout. Sounds good. I'm as well handing out invitations. I cool. have you guys up on Facebook with our wedding wire and all that good stuff. So we are good. How's my good friend Kitty Cunley? She is doing well. She's very busy with corporate. Is she? <laughs> she is. So she's keeping busy, and I'm keeping busy with all the weddings. So well, it's great to have you on the show. Appreciate you, so you calling in. And Absolutely, I appreciate it. Yeah, we will be seeing you soon. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. All right, bye-bye. bye-bye. Yeah, that was uh, Brianna from Embassy Suites Bellevue. It was a pleasure to have her on the show. Mm-hmm. And um, and uh, so we have some other open houses coming up, too. We have the Lucky Strike Bowl. Yes. Perfect place for a bachelor or bachelorette party. I really, really, really want to do a wedding there. It'd be yeah. the funnest place ever for a wedding. I understand they're doing them. They're going to be at the uh, at the Bellevue Wedding Expo, October fourth and fifth. Mm-hmm. That's a good place for them to be. And their open house is the following Wednesday, mm-hmm. six to nine. Great. So they're on a board, and um, we also have an open house with Salish Lodge. Yeah. Yeah. And they just did a huge remodel. Did also. they? Also, yeah, it's been a while since so, they've been out there. Oh, you're just gonna die. It's so pretty. Really? Yeah, really nice. The the potlatch room and the uh, terrace falls room are just top notch. And the potlatch room, like Erin was saying when she was on the phone the other day, they're actually breaking out that divider wall, so the room's not going to be an L shape anymore. So that's going to really expand. I like it there because I just roll up. Unload my gear. Valet takes my car away. I go bye bye, and I'm there. So uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, very convenient. That room is like literally right there by valet. So it's about the only uh, valet in the city that takes care of you like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Aaron just signs my little valet slip, and then it's free. Free, <laughs> free. But they do have a ginormous ballroom too. It's very, very large. And then then they have that Centennial Green Park too. So they have lots of different options. I've done a uh, wedding there. On their main deck outside the Terrace Falls, I've done a wedding. There's a private, smaller little deck that's more intimate down really, really close to the falls. Yes, ma'am. And I've actually done a wedding down there as well. And then the staircase goes up from that one up to the other upper deck. So yes, ma'am. They have, they have about, let's see, one, two, three, four, I think five different places to get to actually have a ceremony there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. They, they, it's quite a, quite a venue. It's amazing. Yeah. And it's like a little retreat for everybody. You yeah. feel like you're you're so far away from Seattle when you're there, and it's so pretty. And then you're just like, oh, 20 minute drive, you're back in Seattle. Well, it's nice to have our good friend Aaron Haldy there. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's nice to have friends in the business. Yeah, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> like actual ones we like. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. Well, yeah, she's yeah. a cool chick. I'd say most of the people in the business are okay. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. So when is their open house at the Salish? Uh, October 17th. Sunday. It's a Sunday. Okay. 2 o'clock. No football game that day. Well, there's one out of town. It's over about 1 o'clock our time. Okay. So uh, the, it'll start from 2 and probably go to 6 maybe. Okay. Yeah. And they're going to uh, – we're looking forward to meeting people out there. We'll be there, of course. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure the room – we need to find out from Aaron what room that uh, – open house is going to be in. Yeah. I'm sure I would say the patio. Would have, they probably have it up in the Terrace Falls. Yeah. So is that what's, that's what it's called? Mm-hmm. Terrace Falls? hmm Terrace Falls is okay with me. Yep. Absolutely. Um, and then any other open houses? You said Embassy Hollywood Suites. School House is, is announcing a date today. Okay. And we want to get them up on the website. And if anybody wants to know about the upcoming wedding expos 
for the op- upcoming open houses, just go to pridesclub.com. Mm-hmm. Pridesclub.com. Or drive by the Tacoma Dome. It's on the big board, the big digital board. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. It. It's well, we'll be at the Tacoma Dome next weekend. It's, it's coming up that quick. Can you oh, believe it? Wow. The 12th, the 12th and 13th. Mm-hmm. Um, we are um, going to have a double booth. And we're going to be broadcasting the show live. Outside. Out, outside from the Tacoma Dome. Hopefully we haven't got permission from the uh, from the big honchos there yet. But I don't anticipate a problem. Yeah, so get in line with all the little brighty poos and talk to mm-hmm. them. And yes, ma'am. Get some input on them. I want to kind of do a trivia with the brides. I think that would be kind of fun. Well, this is the first time that we're going to be out there. I'm going to see if Brad can get us some of those. Uh, you know how he has those little freebie gifts, like the free rings and stuff? There's all Maybe kinds of stuff. Maybe we could talk him into like, giving freebies away and doing some trivia out there with brides and getting them all ramped up before they come in. Like uh, what year was uh, the king married? Well, that's not bridal trivia. We're talking about wedding trivia. Married. What year oh. was the king married? Married? Ooh. Then he married Priscilla. 60. Ooh, this is a wild guess. Five. <laughs> That's a good guess. Real good guess. 67. That was close. May of 1967. And the reason I bring it up is because our Coffee with the King segment today is Good Rockin' Tonight, baby. And we're going to feature Robert Plant, too. Because someone was just listening to a Robert Plant interview, weren't you? I was. And? It was It was quite nice. But that's going to be in the next segment. And um, right now... Uh, we should have DJ Tony Rice calling in any minute. Hopefully, he takes time from his busy morning to give us a buzz. I invited him to call in today because he took a little break, and now he's back. He's back, Jack, and that's a fact. Tony's an excellent DJ. Yes, he has great personality. Yeah, he's one of those guys who just is positive all the time and Having and, a positive um, attitude in this industry gets you a long ways because he has this amazing reputation. We get calls all the time. People begging to have him. Yep. Stock him online. Look at his reviews. He's he's really a top-notch guy. He like sure him. is. And, and we're going to bring him on right now because I know that's him. Tony Rice, you're on the air, handsome. Hey, thanks a lot, Johnny. How you doing? I'm doing great, and it's a pleasure to have you on the show. I'm here with my co-host, Becca Page, who you know. Yeah, how you doing, Becca? I'm fabulous. How is Tony Rice this morning? Just outstanding. It's a beautiful sunny day. That's Our right. Day. Amen. It's beautiful. It is. It is a beautiful day. We were just telling our listeners about you, uh, and uh, you've been um, uh, DJing now for almost ten years. Yes. You've been with Viva Productions uh, most of that time. You you just took a short break, but now you're back, Jack, and that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, tell us about what's been going on with you, Tony Rice. Well, yeah, uh, probably my pre-professional career was way back in my Army days. And honestly, Viva Productions uh, set off my the start of my professional career, which was about 10 years ago. But, yeah, recently I took a hiatus for maybe about two years uh, to get into more into my, my sonic career, things I've been doing in Freemasonry. Cool. And then also to concentrate on work. And just, what, about maybe about two weeks ago, I caught back up with you and, and just hit the ground running and started doing it professionally again. So Yeah, I, since you called me, I think you're, I, I've, I've had you on uh, uh, three or four weddings already. That's right. Absolutely. So, mm-hmm. so, but it's been a lot of fun. I, I, even doing that hiatus, I still DJed. I did a lot of Masonic affairs and did things for my friends. Correct. But, uh, you know, what really came to mind with coming back is instantly right away, especially with working with you, is just a wide range of opportunities and types of gigs you get. Mm-hmm. I think the first gig you sent me out on was a wine tasting down in Olympia. I was just fascinated with the idea of, one, just playing in this open-air uh, venue, but then interacting with the crowd as they went and tasted wine and the different playlists that had to come together. So it was just always a variety when working with you. And that's what I missed when mm-hmm. I was out sort of doing the same things or doing the wedding for my friends or doing parties for my Masonic events. 
Yeah, yeah. We're, we're lucky enough to be on the preferred vendors list at the Red Lion Olympia, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been uh, teamed up with them for the last couple of years, and uh, I'm glad that I could send you on that um, that gig. Like you said, it's a different type of thing, and it was outside and fun and kind of more casual and a, a yeah. shuck and jive type thing, and you were the perfect DJ for the gig. Sure, thank you. Yeah, you definitely have the personality. You know, during your two-year hiatus, that's all I heard was brides calling, like, can we have Tony Rice? <laughs> can we have, I, there's this guy, his name's Tony Rice. I heard he works for me. I really want him. And I'm like, oh, he's he's taking a break. Well, is there a way I can get a hold of him? I mean, it was for the last time. Mean, you are such a reputable DJ that two years later, people are still calling and begging for you. So I'm so glad you're back. You're, you're one of those DJs I know I can send out to do a gig. And I can sleep that night and not have to worry about a phone call in the morning. You know, you're going to get the job done. You're awesome. Not that we ever No, do. never. No. <laughs> but well, thank you for that endorsement. Yeah. Tony, stay on the line. We're going we're gonna to get a quick word from our sponsors. So hang tight. Stay on the line. We're going to bring you back in the next segment. Okay, sounds good. Okay, hold on, please. This is Johnny the Gangster with Viva Productions, King of Entertainment, one-stop shop for all your entertainment needs. We have DJ service for weddings, corporate, and private events. Throw your guests with Vegas Nights Casino Party, Blackjack, Craps, Roulette, Poker, and more. We also have event photography and limousine service. Call Viva Productions, 206-542-5733, or find us at viva-productions.com. A little less conversation, a little more action, you got it. Call Johnny the Gangster, I'll make you a deal you can't refuse. Brides, do you want your big day to be stress-free, perfect, and stay within your budget? Well, Brides Club has all the inside information to make your dream a reality. Go to bridesclub.com. That's bridesclub.com. See upcoming bridal shows and events, view wedding vendors and special offers. And don't miss The Spotlight, the premier online wedding magazine with valuable articles you can't afford to miss. Brides Club helps make your wedding stress-free and perfect. Go to bridesclub.com. Check out bridesclub.com. Attention business owners. Experience a new world of business with Barter. The Saturn Barter Company, located in Tacoma, is one of the most beneficial business decisions you can make. Using Saturn Barter, you are able to sell your products or services to other members of the exchange. You can then use that credit you've built up from your sales to purchase the products or services you or your company needs from other companies within Saturn Barter, all without the use of cash. Contact and join Saturn Barter Club today, 253-212-9930 or online at SaturnBarter.com. Hi everybody, this is Johnny from Viva Productions. I want to tell you a little bit about Vegas Nights. Forget about Vegas. I brought casino tables to the Emerald City. Craps, blackjack, roulette, poker. If you're planning a private party, corporate party, senior grad party, any kind of party, you want casino tables, you call 206-542-5733. Vegas Nights, that's right. Shake, rattle, and roll. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. You're listening to Viva ENT. I'm here with my co-host, Becca the Page. This is Johnny the Capo. I got my pal and buddy, Tony Rice, on the line. Tony, let's let's get right back into it, handsome. Okay, sir. Well, you had asked me uh, to speak a little bit about what I've been doing. I, and I think it's important to sort of set up the framework, uh, as I did a little bit earlier, in the fact that, really, I got my training of how to do wedding from you personally i had a you sent me out with a couple of djs to shadow and i remember that my training was cultivated or you know uh, concluded with spending some time with you and what came with that is not just the mechanics of djing music and providing music but also looking at it in the form of entertaining and so mm -hmm. i carried that forward and i think becca made reference to some of the requests for for me personally I think it came from the idea that I always looked at it. And I was, what I, what, the one thing I gleaned from you is I'm always entertaining. So mm -hmm. I always look at things, one, uh, a wedding especially, but any event, 
it's someone's special moment in life. And so I look at it as a benefit of being able to be part of their life. And then, two, my role is to entertain, to, to make sure that that moment is special, is fun, is done professionally, and more than anything, I problem solve. So uh, the idea of making sure that the caterer is, is uh, prepared for, before I make an announcement or making sure that the photographer is in position before Correct. I press mm-hmm. the play button, all of those different things. Very important. And, but outside of that, uh, like I say, since I've been back, I've been exposed to so much and so many different types of weddings and just the opportunity to really uh, be part of the pre-planning. So not even just coming into the wedding that day and playing music, but knowing what the bride and groom are expecting out of the, the wedding for that particular day, going over their planning they're planning with them, talking about any special nuances that they might have or any music that they don't want to hear or any different types of music they don't want to hear. All of those things go into just making that day so special. So. Oh, yeah. Excellent. You know, I, that's that's a good point that you just brought up is that's the most important thing to me on that whole planner that is there anything you do not want as part of your reception? Uh, you know, you don't ever want to play any songs that are, are breakup songs or yeah. songs from an old relationship or maybe the parents first dance and they're divorced now and you don't want to play their song. <laughs> so I do I do kind of ask those questions. If you see, you know, there's step parents involved, uh, you know, ask them if there's any pertinent songs that just have memories attached to them. Memories. You just don't want to have to uh, offend anybody, you know, or like you, you'll bring it up. They're like, oh, I, I like hip hop a lot. OK, well, what do you mean by hip hop? Or they'll say rap. We want rap. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you mean by rap? Because to me, rap is not danceable. Hip hop yeah. is. And so, right. you know, then they start naming artists and you just start to get a feel. Or just like how they say, I like old school hip hop. I like 90s music. A lot of times they actually mean more like 2004, 2005. <laughs> Have you noticed that too? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, you got to kind of like really get in there and pick their brains. Otherwise, you're going to be playing music yeah. that they're not familiar with. A lot of people don't. At all. I'm sorry. A lot of people don't know the difference between rap and hip hop. A lot yeah. don't. Mm-mm. Mm. No, just like country. When they say I like country, critical question: new country, old country. What kind of country do you like? That's a wide genre of music. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is so true. I, I think more than anything, what I've learned uh, from coming from doing an event like a wedding and doing things in a, on a professional stage, you do, truly have to have an appreciation for all forms of music, and I think. It's one of those things where people generally think that they can just typecast one type of music and that you'd either be stuck there or unable to bridge it to other forms of music. And the more that you can understand just how music works and how people enjoy it Mm -hmm. and move them into that music, I think the more fun and rewarding the the wedding experience is. Exactly. Tony, we're running out of time. Thank you for being on the show. Uh, hey. You're going you're gonna to be at the Montevilla Farmhouse tomorrow night at, uh, for a wedding for Viva Productions. Um, yes, and um, tell everybody bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. I go by DJ Infinity, and I want to thank you for this opportunity to get on, Johnny. And I, Becca, it's always great to see you, and I'll talk to you guys soon. DJ Thanks Infinity, we love, we love you. And I love you back. All right. Thank bye. you, brother. Right. Bye bye. So now. Before we run out of time, I heard an interview with Robert Plant. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was all about his idol, Mr. Elvis Presley. It was a fascinating interview. Basically, what he said was from 1955, from the Sundays, to the time he got out of the Army, was it what influenced him the most as a singer and if you listen to Robert Plant Led Zeppelin and you listen to early Elvis Presley you are listening to the influence beyond a shadow of a doubt Mm -hmm. now is our producer listening on the line I hope because if he is I don't have to get up (laughs) (laughs) but we're going to go into exactly what I'm talking about here's Good Rockin' Tonight from The King and then we're going to play it by Robert Plant, the Honey Drippers version, which was the first album he recorded 
after Zeppelin kind of took a break. Here it is. Well, this is the King. Good to rock it 1955 Sun Records. Well, I had the news. Let the good rock it tonight. I'm going to get my voice back, folks. Trust me. I say, oh, meet me here in a hurry behind the barn. Don't you be afraid that I'll do you no harm. I want you to bring along my rocking shoes, cause tonight I'm going to rock away on oh, the blues. I heard the news. There's good to rock it tonight. Quite impressive. Let's rock! Let's rock! Woo-hoo. Come on and rock! We're gonna rock! Oh, all our blues away! Have you heard the news? Everybody's rocking tonight! Have you heard the news? Everybody's rocking tonight! I'm gonna hold my baby! As I can, well, tonight she'll know mighty, mighty man. I heard your news, there's good to rock in tonight. That's the infamous Scotty Moore, Bill Black, DJ Fontana in the Sun Studios, 1955. And if we're lucky enough, we're going to go straight into the Honey Drippers version. I don't know how John put this together, but I'm thinking... Oh, horns! I like it! He calls it Good Rockin' at Midnight. I like it. Good rockin' at midnight, baby. What'd you think? What'd you think, Paige? What do you What do you like about the comparison? I'm very much enjoying that. Yeah, isn't that a great song? Yeah. They changed it around a little bit, called it "Good Rockin' at Midnight." Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, really cool. Like mm-hmm. You can see the influence. I mean, 
Platt cleared up his voice. He didn't have that uh, Led Zeppelin type thing, more of the rockabilly sound to it. Yeah. Really he's, cool and groovy. He's the greatest. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been listening to Viva ENT. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on the air today mm-hmm. with my co-host, Becca Page. We'll see you next week at the Tacoma Wedding Expo. Woo-hoo. We have the Comcast Wedding Expo, the 20th and 21st of September. And, of course, the long-awaited for Return to Bellevue, October 1st. Excuse me, October 4th, October 5th. We will be at the Seattle Hilton in Bellevue, Viva Productions, Wedding Expo, Bride Club, all the way, baby. Say goodnight, Becca. Bye. We'll dig it out. See you later. Because you'll find sweet, sweet potato. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Hi, everybody. This is Johnny from Viva Productions. I want to tell you a little bit about Vegas Nights. Forget about Vegas. I brought casino tables to the Emerald City. Craps, blackjack, roulette, poker. If you're planning a private party, corporate party, senior grad party, any kind of party, you want casino tables, you call 206-542-5733. Vegas Nights, that's right. Shake, rattle, and roll. Hi, everybody. This is Johnny from Viva Productions. I want to tell you a little bit about Elite Limousine. Right now, we have prom specials for 10 passenger stretch limousines, only $90 an hour. That's right, $90 an hour with the four-hour minimum, 206-542-5733. Go to viva-productions.com for pricing.